More than 200 South Koreans from all walks of life have arrived in Berlin after an almost three-week-long train journey across Asia and Europe. During the course of their more than 14,000-kilometer journey, the passengers have been promoting Seoul's so-called Eurasia initiative. Handan reports. These members of the Eurasia Friendship Express expedition have traveled across one-third of the Earth's surface via train for the single purpose of raising awareness for the need for peace in Korea and Eurasia. After 18 days of their historic journey, they arrived in Berlin, their final destination and a symbol of peaceful reunification. My grandfather is Hong Gi Jung, who won Korea's first Olympic medal here in Berlin. But sadly, as a Japanese delegate, it's truly meaningful for me to trace his footsteps marking the 70th anniversary of Korea's independence. Since embarking on the special journey on July 14th from Seoul, the team has traveled 14,400 kilometers, passing Vladivostok and Beijing while holding various events in between. The members participated in global festivals at Lake Baikal of Siberia, where many Russians, Eurasians and other Asians held hands to dance, and also paid tribute to Korean ancestors that sacrificed their lives fighting for the nation's independence in Russia's maritime province. A concert co-organized by Korean news outlet YTN was also held during the trip, which marked the 25th anniversary of the establishment of Korea-Russia relations. Foreign Minister Yoon Byung-hae, who led the expedition, held talks with the members, mostly college students, throughout the trip. The expedition members are set to march the streets of Berlin, hoping for the peaceful reunification of the two Koreas. So with the grand finale performance, the expedition for peace will come to a rest. And then, Arirang News.